every time I wear this perfume, I get compliments on how good I smell. Hey guys, welcome to this cool get ready with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for similar videos. The first thing I'm gonna do is wet my hair. I'm not washing it, I'm just reconditioning it because it's Wednesday and I condition my hair every Wednesday to lock in my moisture. I'm gonna be using this TGIN, thank God I'm natural, daily moisturizer and I freaking love this moisturizer. It's super moisturizing for my curls. I use it every single Wednesday and I use it on my wash days and I'm using the Denman brush to detangle my hair. Every single product that I say is going to be listed in my description box. Now I'm going to be using my Dove Instant Foaming Body Wash and this is going to be in my hygiene haul. I freaking love this body wash now like the foaming part at first i was like eh will i like if it foams but i actually freaking love it it feels so good it makes me feel so clean it makes my skin feel so soft and i also really like the natural smell of this body wash I'm grabbing the Coconut Miracle Oil Body Wash. Just for the scent of it, I really like how it smells. And I'm just going to put that over the Dove Foaming Body Wash. And you don't have to use two body washes. I'm just doing it because the Dove Body Wash is a more subtle scent. And I like how the Coconut Miracle is more feminine and girly. Like it's a scent that you can smell. So that's the only reason why I did this. I'm now going to use the Jez V Intima Wash for my feminine hygiene. And for exfoliation, I'm using the Tree Hut Coconut Candy Shea Sugar Scrub. And this just makes my skin feel really good. It removes dead skin cells and it just makes me smell really good after my shower. Now I'm gonna be doing a little shaving routine. I'm using the Shea Butter Shave Cream by EOS and I love how moisturizing this is. And I have a whole entire video on the best way to shave. So if you're interested, that will be in the description box. But I'm just going over my body with the Flamingo Razor that I'm obsessed with. And I'm just gonna do that all over my body to get a clean shave. Like I'm not super ultra hairy, but I do wanna kinda shave down a little bit because my hairs are getting prickly. To really moisturize and have my curls looking fresh, I'm gonna use this Curl Maker by Camille Rose. It just makes it feel so good and it makes my hair super soft and it just locks in every single thing together. So I'm just gonna put that through my hair so I can get ready to style it in my braid. I'm using a microfiber towel instead of a cotton towel because it just locks in my moisture and it doesn't dry my hair out. The first thing I'm doing for this braid is just detangling my hair with the Denman brush once again because I want my hair to be as smooth as possible so I can put it in this braid effortlessly. Starting off with this got to be glue, I'm going to put it all over my hair and I parted my hair down the middle. You don't have to, you can comb it all the way back or part it zigzag and I'm using an extreme gel to pair with the got to be glue just to really really get my hair slick and down and after i slick it down and brush it back i'm just putting it in a pony's tail i'm using murray's edge wax to do my baby hairs which i definitely recommend and i'm just using that with my baby hair toothbrush i like to use a really hard toothbrush there are people who sell like the baby hair brushes but i don't know those be too soft for me like i need something really hard and i just use a toothbrush <laughs> and I'm just gonna get my braiding hair and I'm gonna start braiding with my hair I do recommend combing it out more and putting some gel on your hair's ends and then braiding it I just didn't do it because I didn't feel like it and I was being lazy and I was rushing but you can definitely do that I'm just literally braiding it in my hair it's super easy super fast style 
I'm starting off my makeup routine with the Laneige Skin Glow Serum. This seriously makes my skin glow so well. It's perfect for summer. It's perfect for your face. Even if you just put it on without foundation or without makeup, it makes your skin look so good. And for foundation, I'm using the Dior Forever Glow, which is another really good glowing serum. Since it's summer, you just want that glowy, dewy skin. And I really like the Dior's Skin Forever Glow. I personally love this foundation. It's one of my favorites because it lasts me so long. Like, I don't even need a lot of pumps for it to really cover my skin. Going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy palette, I used the New Yorker just for a very, very light bronzed eyeshadow look. Nothing too serious. I'm not going for a full-blown makeup look. And then I'm putting my brow gel by Benefit on just to make my brows look more full. And then I'm using the Benefit concealer to conceal under my eyes. I learned this trick to where you don't put it directly under your eyes. You put it a little bit below your eyes so it doesn't crease. And it's actually been working really well for me. And then I just put concealer everywhere else. And I also contour my nose. After that, I'm just going to blend, blend, blend everything out. Blending takes a while for me because sometimes I miss a few spots. So I have to really be patient and just blend everything out really slowly. So take your time when you blend. Take your time. I'm concealing under my brows with the same Benefit concealer just to kind of highlight my brow bone. I'm combining the NARS bronzer in Laguna with the NARS orgasm to contour and put blush on my face and I'm just using that very lightly whenever you do this with the powder method you don't want to press it super hard on your skin you just want to be very light to the touch with your skin so it just looks seamless for my lips sometimes you guys ask me oh what pencil are you using what lip pencil girl this is eyeshadow like this is not a lip pencil this is eyeshadow that i'm dipping into i just get a brown eyeshadow girl and i just put it around my lips and then i'm using the dior lip oil to put it all together and that is how i get my lip look girl nothing special no lip pencil or nothing Okay, so right now I'm like undecided of which dress I want to wear. So either I'm going to wear this dress, like this slip dress. I got this from Urban Outfitters. And I think the dress lengths are about the same. Or I could wear this, an all white dress. This is from, I think this is from Revolve. Oh wait, I have it inside out. <laughs> so, this is from Revolve. And I don't know, what do you guys think? Honestly, I kind of want to take pictures outside. Hmm, I may go for the white. Yeah, 
I'm gonna go for the white dress just because like I like how the top looks I think it's really girly so let's go for white so here is the white dress I'm just gonna put on some deodorant this is just the Dove even tone deodorant and I'm trying to figure out what heels I want to wear I don't know if I want like a pop of color or like my new heels for perfume, I'm just going to use the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. This is literally my favorite perfume ever because it's so girly. It's really good for every day. Like, every time I wear this perfume, I get compliments on how good I smell. If you guys want to know my most complimented perfumes, check that video out. It will be in the description box. Oh, also give this video a thumbs up. And... Oh! Okay, now we have to look for which jewelry. So for jewelry, I have these express earrings and my little gold choker and also some express jewelry. I swear to God, I get all of my jewelry from express. So if you like my jewelry, you're going to love express. Like I got all of these during holiday season when they had a really good deal. And for heels, I am going to be doing these white heels. I'm going to do white on white. So I'm going to get my white purse, and I got my white dress, and I got my white heels. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.